Hey, Jordan here, and today we're going to be doing the soldering on the Naze 32, the Massive 32 from Massive RC. So this is the same board as the Naze 32, um, and this is the black version of it. There is no difference in it um, uh, electronically. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the soldering. So we're going to get started, and first things you're going to need are some flux. Here's some uh, flux from Radio Shack. This is what it looks like inside. You're going to need some solder. So uh, we'll focus on here. Uh, this is the 6040 rosin coarse solder, 0 0.032 inch diameter. And uh, you're going to need your wiring harness right here. Uh, some These are going to be the straight pins. Uh, one of the small ones right here, the two pin, and then the uh, little six pin um, connector. So, and then some uh, pliers. And this setup is going to be for the uh, Spectrum uh, PPM receivers uh, for this type of video. So, and, we're, and these would be used for like the Lemon RX uh, or any receiver that takes just one cable. So we're going to start by cutting this cable so I'm going to cut it, just like so, and you're going to notice I'm just cutting the first three, so the the first black, red, and white uh, cable lines, so we're going to be left with this cable right here. Then, you're going to take your wire cutters, and you're going to strip off, carefully, the insulation of the wire, just like so. It's going to... Now you'll be able to see right there, the insulation is uh, cut off. Then we're going to come over here to the flux with a toothpick, and we're just going to coat the wires with the flux, and that's going to prevent the uh, flux from not, it's, it's going to make the flux stick better uh, and soak right in. Then we're going to take our little jig and hold the wires in it loosely. We can come over here to our soldering iron. I'm using a Weller uh, soldering iron, so this is what it looks like. You're going to want to make sure your tip is nice and clean, so always keep some solder and uh, keep your tip nice and silver. Uh, that's going to help with making your connections very nice. Then you're going to come over with your soldering iron and then with your solder and then simply just tin each wire. But the flux is going to make it the solder soak in just like a sponge to each wire real easily. Keep our iron clean. And I don't have it on the highest temperature. I've got it on four on mine. Keep that coated with solder. Then we're going to come over here, bring, drop that off. Then you're going to take these pins and stick these in. So we're going to first put this set of pins in there and then you're going to put the other set of pins into here and if you can on this little two pin put it down there and carefully flip it over and use the weight of the board to hold all the pins down so that they're all exposed so then what you're going to do is take your flux right here and then coat all the tops of these pins I normally run it in between the rows and this is going to help make all of your solder joints real nice and keep the solder flowing just like it should so make sure that those are all nicely coated go over and then we're gonna do the, the two right here and then go in between and then do the last last ones right down here these six you don't want too much just get off the excess just make sure all the tabs are coated with it and this also helps with the pins sticking in there nicely so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off our tip again make sure it's nice and clean and you're gonna start by solder flows towards the heat so you're gonna have the soldering iron on one side and then the solder on the other and I do one one pin set at a time so that the pins don't jiggle out when you're doing the other ones. And so you're going to do all of them, just like so. 
and that it should look like a cone if you can see in the video. So you're going to carefully do each pin and you don't want to hold it too long and that solder or that flux really helps keep the uh, the uh, it helps to keep that solder so it all uh, connects very well and then sometimes touching it from the top and then just waiting a few seconds it will flow down now it's starting to get a little bit harder you'll notice the tip is not it's starting to discolor so you add a little bit of solder and then we're going to come over here and just wipe it off I've got a little solder pile and then wipe it that will keep the tip silver and uh, prevent the soldering from uh, becoming harder to do now that discoloration is oxidation so that's the air oxidizing the metal around your soldering tip and preventing a good connection so just going around each one real carefully don't want to overheat any of them so you do it very quick get the job done touch it for a few seconds heat it up just like that now we're gonna flip it over so we got all our pins in they're all soldered in place uh, not yet there's one left Now they're all done. Uh, all the rows. Do a quick check over. Yep, we're all good. You can wipe that solder off with some alcohol uh, after you're done. But now we're going to take the flux and on the first three pins, I'm going to coat that just like so. And then you're going to take your iron on one side and just carefully make a little pad on each one just for the first three on uh, on these first three all the way up until one then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take as you see right there then you're gonna take your uh, your cable right here your harness and have it angled up so that none of the the uh, just like so so it's angled just a slight bit up it's gonna go black red and white so white should be on one so we're gonna take the first wire and heat it up and you notice I have the wires angled up so that's so that they don't touch against any of the electronics on the board we're going to hit the red with some solder or with the heat and then we're going to do the last one which is our white and you'll notice it's kind of like hanging off a little bit so we're going to take our pliers and just clip a little bit of that excess off just like so And then we'll come over with the iron again and then tap that and now you can tell all the wires are angled up and then you can use what's called liquid electrical tape and protect all of those wires on top and that will make for a perfect finish of uh, protecting these little wires but this makes it very clean so that you don't have to worry about lots of wires and uh, if you did not do it this way uh, you can solder each of the wires or you can use the uh, the header and solder those in. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope it, hope it was helpful. And have fun soldering and flying. Have a great day. And please subscribe and browse my other videos.